Okay, hey guys, how are you? Um, so obviously, uh, I've gotten tons of text messages, tons of emails. Everybody's asking and concerned about Brent, and uh, we thank you guys so much. Um, uh, this is not the way I wanted it to come out. Uh, we wanted to be able to talk about it ourselves when Brent was in a better place. Um, so here I am because I, I, I would rather the correct thing be out there than something that's not correct. Uh, two weeks ago today, uh, Brent had congested heart failure and a stroke. Uh, he's only 23, so he's really young for something like that to happen to him. Um, the first thing, you know, a lot of doctors think of when someone that age come in with that kind of condition is maybe they have done drugs or maybe they have some serious infection, maybe HIV or some sort of infection is what I'm being told by the doctors. Brent doesn't drink or do drugs. And obviously they've tested him for all of those things. They also tested him for HIV. Um, they were thinking that um, maybe he had caught COVID and he didn't know that he had COVID. Um, they did see, the doctors are saying they did see some things like that happen if they caught the Delta variant and uh, he never knew he had COVID. Um, I've never known him to have COVID. Um, so they have run a number of tests on him to see what could have possibly made this happen to him. And uh, we are still trying to figure out because if we knew the cause obviously they could treat the cause um it was it was very scary um um i, I don't even want to go into details of what happened and how i found out and what condition he was in um obviously a stroke is a very serious thing and so um he's struggling you know with speaking and um it's I, I don't know I just know that uh, keep us in your prayers um, uh, keep bringing your prayers uh, so many people are e e e uh, texting and emailing me about the lounge uh, the lounge is still open. You know, Brent ran the lounge. That was his pride and joy. He loved it. Um, it is still open. Uh, the managers are still running it with the regular hours. Um, we have, you know, sat and talked about selling the lounge now because it's something that Brent runs along with me. And I got into business with Brent and Greg and some other friends to do it. And uh, this is just a lot right now on me. Uh, so uh, if there's anybody out there that's possibly interested in the lounge, uh, send them my way if they are interested in purchasing it or something. I think it's very possible that we will sell the lounge um, because it is something that I shared with Brent after Greg's passing. So uh, just send me an email to booknini at gmail.com and we, uh, the right people or persons, I will point them in, point you in their direction and they can um, speak to you about it then. But right now the lounge is still open. They're regular days. Um, Brent FaceTime me this morning. He's in uh, good spirits. Um, uh, you know, we just are just shocked. Just shocked. Uh, but I thank all of you guys for your 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 prayers. Everybody's just emailing. Can they send flowers? Please don't. Um, I 
honestly would prefer um, balloons. Um, we do prefer balloons and um, I don't know, all of this is still so new to me and, and we're not revealing where Brent currently is. Um, I, because it's so new, I'm, I'm going to, you know, get some of my people that are working with us to maybe find something that you guys can um, donate to that can help with this kind of situation. If you remember some years ago, I had blood clots in my lungs and we could not figure out where it came from. So they're thinking that maybe Brent was born with some sort of disease or or something with his heart since he was a kid and uh it just never showed up until now like we we don't know this is just a lot for us right now um and everything is still very new um um you know I, i've been asked a, a million questions by everybody that's hitting me up you know could his weight have been the issue the doctors say they don't think so um they've asked you know just i, I don't know that i've just been asked <laughs> so many things and i i'm just i'm baffled i i, I am baffled um um it's a lot. So just keep praying and I will, you know, speak to you guys whenever I can. Um, again, he has shown some improvement and uh, we're really happy and blessed for that. Um, just keep us in your prayers. Send me an email to booknini at gmail.com. If you know anyone that's interested in getting into the nightlife and they may consider the Lanithia Lounge, we put a lot into it. It's a beautiful place. Uh, thank you guys again for all of your uh, love and support. And uh, I will be back on here talking to you guys again uh, real soon. Thank you. Love you.